Hello everybody, this is Scott here with the Trek Bicycle Sword ABC Bicycles and today we are going to talk about one of the most requested videos. Oh my gosh, we have letters oh, sky high on this one. Every day we get people asking us, can you tell me a way to get my butt not to hurt? So today we are going to talk about three ways to help your butt not hurt as much. So first thing, going to hit it right off the bat. Saddle height and saddle position is super, super important. When we talk about saddles, it's nerdy bike speak for this guy right here, your seat. So just angling this guy, most saddles have little angular devices on the bottom, which will allow it to pivot up and down. Obviously it'll have a post to let it drop. So that's the first thing. If you're having any issues, I'd highly recommend either having a friend take a look at you to make sure you're getting the proper leg position, the proper height, um, or bring it into a bike shop and we can take a look to make sure that your saddle is properly adjusted for your body and for your riding style. Second thing is a new saddle. Saddle is just like any product with foam in it. That foam deteriorates over time and it's a good thing to switch the saddles up. I like to say every probably five years that saddle really starts to break down and it's a good thing to switch. Plus our bodies over time change as well. So we have a few different saddles here depending on your riding style. So the big thing is, is that bigger isn't always better. There's different saddles that fit your particular type of bike. So it's really important to find the right one. A few things to look at. If you're in a very low down position, typically it's nicer to go with a thinner saddle because when you're bending over, you're activating your sit bones. You're not really sitting on the shelf, the kind of fatty tissue of your butt as much. So you need something a little thinner to fit through your legs, fit properly on it. These are one of our more ergonomic sport saddles. This is nice because it has really thick foam, a uh, little bit of gel padding as well. And it's just a nice position for a kind of a moderate aggressive mm -hmm. style where you're kind of leaning over the front, uh, like with a road bike or a mountain bike. For hybrids, you're not quite totally upright. You're also not quite all the way leaned over. You're kind of in the middle. So we recommend a mid-width saddle. So this is something that's great for a hybrid a little bit thicker foam, slightly wider. Uh, these come in men's and women's versions, so they fit, uh, fit your body a little bit more anatomically. And then of course, the big boys, these guys, these are gonna be your cruiser saddles that you see on the bikes where your back is 90 degrees with the ground. So this is gonna really support that kind of fatty tissue, that kind of, um, kind of more of the fatty tissue of your butt where you're not really sitting on the bones as much. So it's gonna give you a little more support. You'll also notice underneath the saddle, it'll have a nice rigid base with uh, most likely some sort of suspension device. They make them in either steel spring or uh, elastomers. Now for my sport people, we also have a few different styles uh, that works if they ride with shorts. We have a sit bone sizing tool so we can get you down to the millimeter on this sit bone size that works specifically for you for our uh, uh, club road riders, triathletes, things like that. So first thing, saddle height and position. Second thing, getting the right saddle to fit your style. Bigger isn't always better. And third, oh my gosh, where do we even start? Shorts just, oh my gosh, I have shorts everywhere. So. First thing to start with is that there's three different types of shorts. Baggy shorts, regular spandex style of shorts, and then you have bibs. I really like bibs because it helps support when I'm leaning over, it's not kind of uh, coming in uh, when I'm kind of folded over like that. It's not really cutting off any circulation. It's a little bit more comfortable for me. I really like these. A nicer short is gonna have a few different benefits to the rider. First off, it's gonna have multiple layers to the padding. So this one has four different layers. So it's gonna be thick where you need it, thin where you don't. It also has a nice material which is gonna to conform to your body, wick away moisture. Another style that's super popular are the cargos. Everybody loves the cargos. Yet again, they're still gonna wick away moisture, but you're gonna be incognito. You're like a FBI agent. Nobody knows that you're an undercover cyclist here. So three different things, saddle height and position, getting the right size seat for your riding position and your butt bigger isn't always better. And third, invest in a good pair of shorts. 
Thank you so much. I know we covered a lot of topics in this video. Come on into either ABC or Trek Bicycles. Talk with the sales associate. They'll walk you down the exact road that you need to make your butt feel a bit more comfortable. Thank you so much. Have a great day.